amazing drawing, but then you're like, crap, I really wanted to do it in markers, or I want to color it in color pencil, or you want to change papers for whatever reason, or maybe you just don't want to mess up that first one because it was so perfect, and so you want to just have like a few more copies hanging around um, on different kind of papers so you can color it in in different ways. Whatever the reason, this comes up all the time. So I thought I'd give you um, five ways that you can transfer your drawings on two different papers so you can color them in different ways. Okay, but also before I teach you all the different ways that you can transfer your artwork onto other pieces of paper, you really need to have um, a copy of it first, right? But you can, the easiest way is you can make a photocopy, even if it's in sections, like this is too big to fit on my scanner, but you could even copy it in sections and then tape it together the two sheets of paper and then because you want a crappy copy to be the one that you're using for your transferring because you don't want to mar your original piece of work so doing the photocopy is one way the other really easy way is to just get some get some um trace paper okay and then you can super you can lightly or with a pen preferably a black pen Go ahead and trace your whole design and then you're going to take your tracing and that is what you're going to use to make all your other copies in which I'll be explaining <laughs> right after this. <laughs> so the first thing, I love this one because it doesn't cost any money and it's the fastest and it's just super easy. So you take your final drawing, you hold it up to a window and you can trace. And it would be good if you had lead in your pencil. <laughs> okay? And my pencil still has no lead. Okay? So, boom, boom, boom. You trace the whole thing. Now you have two copies and you're ready to go. So that's number one. All right. My second favorite way is to use actually a light table. And what's nice about light tables is that... Um, they are not turning on. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. What's nice about light tables is that they're really so bright that you can transfer your sheets onto thicker pieces of paper. So say I want to, um, for example, use Bristol. That's a really thick cardboardy kind of paper and it's hard to see through if you're doing the window technique. So what's nice about the light table, it's brighter. So I can actually see how you can't see through it at all. But when I put it down on my light table, as you can see, see how much I can see pretty well. Okay, so now I can, and this is just pencil. So now I can transfer onto my Bristol and then I can color in markers and all as well. Also, this watercolor paper is equally as thick. So say I wanted to transfer my design onto watercolor paper, same deal. It's really thick, but because your, because your light table is so bright, it doesn't matter. It can pretty much handle any paper thickness. So love me a light table. Now let's talk about number three. So three, I don't love so much, but it is an option, which is to make a copy with your printer. The problem with this though, is that most of printers are just pretty small, eight and a half by 11. So this picture I did is, you know, 11 by 14. So it doesn't even fit on my, my flatbed scanner. So it's not the best, it's only good for smaller sizes. Um, and the other limitation is that it only accepts a few kinds of papers. Like um, my favorite cover stock, that's very Bristol-like, won't even fit in my printer. Um, pretty much just regular cardstock does, but it's not my favorite to work on. Watercolor paper is too thick. So again, you're, it's kind of limited to like printer paper or cardstock, which isn't the best. So I don't love that method, but if that's all you have, Mm, the window technique is probably even better than your printer scanner, but it is an option. It is an option. Another great way, excuse my hand, to transfer images was by using um, transfer paper. So that's this carbon coated paper. And what you do is you take your, well, you shouldn't take your final piece, really. You should make a copy of it first because it will get ruined in this process. But you can take your transfer paper and put it face down so the dark side down and then you put your artwork on top you take a nice sharp writing instrument my favorite is like a ballpoint pen and then you trace over the pieces and the 
graphite or the carbon will come, the lines will appear on the paper underneath. So that's a great way. That's actually a really, really great way um, to transfer text. If you're doing any text pieces or pieces with text on it, that's a great way. You can print them off on your computer, use the transfer paper, and then you can transfer the outlines of that text like perfectly onto your piece of artwork. But it is a great way to transfer your artwork on images as well. I should also add, if you don't have transfer paper, you can also kind of make your own transfer paper by, if you take a piece of graphite, like a soft graphite, like my 12B pencil, and you scribble on the whole back of your piece, then you can put that face down. Again, take a sharp writing instrument, trace all the lines, and the same exact effect will happen. So that is a valid, that is a valid technique. Okay, but what's my favorite, favorite, favorite way to get the image that you want to draw and color onto a new piece of paper? Out of all the ones I've just went over, my favorite way is none of the above. I really highly recommend that you draw it again from scratch because there is something to that practice makes not perfect, but practice makes you a better artist. You cannot get worse by practicing more. So anytime you have an opportunity to repeat something or draw it again, I highly recommend that you do. Number one, it's fun, okay? It's just fun. Remember, let's not take this too seriously. Art is supposed to be fun. And the more fun you're having, the more you're gonna do it, and the more you're gonna do your art, the better you're gonna get. So I highly recommend throw on some music, get the lesson going again, and try again. Maybe try it without following the videos and see how you do. But I guarantee you that some things will get easier. You probably will be having fun because you're a little bit more relaxed. You've already done it before, so you have a little bit of muscle memory building for you. And before you know it, your pieces are looking pretty good. So if I could highly, and not so subtly suggest drawing it again as the best way to produce another copy. That will always be my first recommendation, but I saved it for the last, so hopefully you got through this whole video, and I hope that helps you so much. Have fun.